Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the Melanin SRNA. I am back with another video. Today's video is going to be a vlog. I am just basically gonna be showing you mom life, how I just take care of my child while I'm in school. I'm also gonna be taking you to school with me, kind of showing you my process throughout the day as far as when I go to school, how I integrate studying into my lifestyle, kind of showing you the ins and outs of my week. I think this is a perfect week to do it because I have finals next week. So I'm definitely gonna be studying a whole lot so today is monday it's currently 10 30 ish um so normally i'm up way before now um i'm just i was just really tired from this weekend saturday was my anniversary so we went out for the first time since i've had my daughter and then i was extremely tired on sunday and i really didn't get much sleep because i needed to catch up on studying so i didn't go to sleep till two o'clock this morning and then i had to wake up around five to feed my daughter because my husband had to go to work so i basically brought her in the bed with me fed her and then had had her sleep right next to me for a little bit i don't even think she went to sleep to be honest but i was like dead tired so she i basically fed her again at seven and normally by seven or eight i'm up but i was just exhausted try to like lay in the bed a little bit try to get some sleep kind of propped her up to like watch some tv so now i'm up i'll have to make some breakfast i'm also make her next a bottle and we can just watch me make breakfast If it can focus, is a finished product. I can have half an avocado, um, and this is pretty filling, and it's really my favorite breakfast off of this, off of this meal plan. So this is it. But so I am just chilling. I'm about to eat, and then probably feed this little munch in here, and then we'll get to study. All right. So I just got done eating. I just got done feeding her. So it's probably 11 o'clock. So normally I'll just take this time and start studying. I will put her down for a nap, probably in the next like 30 to 40 minutes. She is getting a little cranky um, and then I can really like get down to studying. I'm working on the neuro lecture. He had canceled class, so it's just, neuro is not my strong suit. So I have to do like extra studying outside to really understand the content. So I'm just gonna look on Khan Academy and I'm just going to pretty much self-teach myself a lot of the stuff that I miss or just don't understand and go about my day. We are upstairs up on the top floor. This is where my little like study area, my pretty much my little closet is because I have a bunch of clothes over here. So I just kind of put her down. She's not quite down yet, but I'll probably have to leave a couple times just to just to have her down completely. I am still very much tired. And I drank the last of my cold brew last night. I'm gonna drink some of this monster. See so just kind of give keep me awake. Let me tap into her monitor real quick so i can kind of check on her see what she's up to she's still pretty much awake but let's watch her while i'm up here so i'm also behind which i didn't mention because of my computer so i have the 2012 like the mid 2012 edition of the macbook pro 13 inch i believe i have the last model before they changed it that had the cd dvd player that was built in so basically on friday it decided to die or what i thought died so i had my screen like this and then i try to like wake it up and it completely went blank i try to log in and i really i could log in and like enter my password but i couldn't get past the log in screen it basically just froze i contacted apple i was like on the phone with them for hours like up until 1 30 one night and another two hours the following day trying to basically troubleshoot it but the last thing that was going to be required was to basically erase my hard drive and reinstall sorry i'm trying to get in focus so you can see me basically erase my hard drive and reinstall the ios system and i was like 
because I hadn't backed up my, I know, terrible. I had not backed up my computer since I got it. So I was like, ugh, and I was like, there has to be a way to recover it. I just wasn't, I wasn't like wanting to erase my art drive because the only thing I really wanted was the pictures. I had like pictures from like, oh, like 2010 that I like, I backed to my, I put on my computer. So that's really basically what I wanted. But I was like, ugh, I guess I have to get a new computer. I was like already mentally prepared to like spend the money to get a new computer. My husband was like, why don't you just go tomorrow? This was like Friday. He was like, why don't you just go tomorrow? You can just get a new computer and be done. And I was like, just bring your computer, see what they can do, and then be done. And I was like, so I was like, okay. So I brought my computer and he was like, oh, you know, the hard drive. He did a diagnostic. He was like, oh, your hard drive failed. He said, you can get a new hard drive. He's like, you can, able, you can actually change the hard drive out and it works just as good as a new one and I was like oh really because my thing was I didn't really want to get a new computer because I really do like my computer I like the model that I have I it's like really special to me I just really really like the computer so I wasn't like super crazy about getting a new one he was like yeah you can just get an SSD hard drive basically have it replaced and it runs just as fast as a new one he said if you do end up getting a new one he said if the hard drive were to fail on the new one you would have to get a brand new computer and I was like I don't really want to do that he was like you can do it yourself or you can go to Marco Center and do it so I was like in the car and I looked up YouTube but it's like super easy. I was like, oh, I can do this. So that's what I did yesterday, which also took up some of my time because it probably was a two hour process. Actual changing of the hard drive wasn't the, the tough thing. It was basically like reinstalling all the software, iOS, like that process is what took forever. So basically I upgraded my computer to an SSD and I changed the RAM, increased it to a 16 gig RAM so it runs just as fast honestly it's perfect so now i have to study and that's basically what took up a lot of my time was i had to wait for my s i had to go get my ssd i had to wait for my supplies to be shipped here because i needed my computer to be able to watch lecture and do my ipad because i like to i actually prefer to watch my lecture on my computer and not on my phone or on my ipad because i like to record and do different things that was like really the tough thing about yesterday but that was really the most time consuming so this weekend has just been filled with just like hiccups like from friday my computer not working to Saturday my anniversary which was not a hiccup it was it was great it was nice to be able to go out with my husband and then Saturday it's a front pick from fixing my computer sorry my hair looks a mess such a mess so now we are back to studying let me just peek and see how my daughter is doing seeing if she's sleeping if you are a mom i highly highly recommend the glow baby app um just a quick little mommy tip if you're interested i use the glow baby app for my daughter it is literally the best thing ever i'm able to track her fees her sleep her diaper and then when i was pumping i tracked my pumping as well so it's really good and i like it because when i do have my nanny or anybody that watches her I make them use this app so I can really keep track of how much she eats every day, her pooping schedule and stuff like that. It's just, it's easier for me. I, I'm the type of person that I like to be on a schedule and I like my baby to be on a schedule. So this makes it just that much easier. So I highly recommend the Glow Baby app. But yeah, I'm back to studying. We are very hot in the periphery. So what is the hypothalamus going to do? 
Alrighty, so I just got through one of my lectures. I like to listen to my lectures a couple of times in a row so I can really retain the information. However, finals is next week. So I have on Wednesday, I have my physics. And then on Thursday, I have my patho. So I really have to stay on top of my studying so that I'm not like trying to cram, which I'm still going to cram, but so I can kind of understand the material as we're going along. So I really want to get through neuro today because that's the lecture that we talked about last week. And then I think tomorrow, oh, tomorrow we're doing endocrine and then we have cancer. We have endocrine, cancer, and then musculoskeletal. So this lecture, we have four topics. So neuro, endocrine, cancer, and musculoskeletal. For this exam, this one's just a lot of information with physics being first and then this one being after. So I'm really trying to stay on top of my studying. So that's why today I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna finish neuro, and then I'm gonna go back through my physics lecture and probably do some quizlets after that. So I just got done with neuro. It is two o'clock. I'm actually pretty pleased with the progress. I'm actually gonna go make a snack. All right, so this is my little snack here. This is just one pretty much medium-sized apple. I really like the Granny Smith apples. Those are my favorite. The two rice cakes and some peanut butter. So basically from like three, whenever she goes to sleep, I'm really just kind of like entertaining her. I'm really just entertaining her, trying to keep her awake, feeding her, bathing her, kind of how I juggle my time. And then once I put her down, I go right back to studying. I don't think I'm going to film any YouTube videos this week. I think I have one video I have to finish editing. Yeah, I think I have one video I have to finish editing for Thursday. Thursday. So I think my update days are going to be on Thursdays because the last two updates uploads have been on um, Thursdays. I really can't say if Thursdays are easier for me. I'm just kind of going to go with the going with the flow. But for now, this video should be up and ready by this Thursday. If not, it'll be up and ready by Friday. So I just need to edit. I just need to edit the video for this week. And then this vlog will probably be easy to upload. I'll just have to go through and edit some stuff out. So I'm going to shower. It is about, it's about to be 7 o'clock. It is currently 6.58. I'm going to shower. I'm just going to kind of keep her entertained until I have her down. So she should be going down within the next hour. So yeah, I will be back and talk to you soon. I'm back. It is 9.02. I am finally putting her to sleep if any moms are out there you know the struggle of one day like yesterday i put her to sleep and i didn't have any issues today it took me about an hour and a half to put her down so uh, that is always a struggle i just never know what day i'm gonna get i never know if it's gonna be an easy day to put her down or if it's gonna be difficult af he's now down let's hope that she stays down completely until the morning so keep our fingers crossed so this is normally the time like i said like i mentioned before that i really like hardcore study like after i put her down i'm really just studying from here on out i normally don't go to bed till probably like one o'clock in the morning i try my hardest to try to stay up until she has to eat which she normally i mean it varies it depends on what time i put her down but she normally only feeds once throughout the night so if i'm lucky enough before i go to bed i can feed her and then i can like really sleep through however today might just be definitely might just sleep all the way through so we'll see but i'm aiming to go to bed earlier just because i have been so exhausted and i didn't really like sleep the last couple days so yeah tomorrow i have a patho class and that's pretty much it so the plan for tomorrow is that my nanny comes she'll watch my daughter i'll go to class and i'll come back so i'll take you to school with so i'm just checking in it is 10 30 i just finished a therapy session i do therapy online mental health is super important especially after having a baby i saw a therapist a couple years ago i've seen a therapist a couple of times throughout my life but it was important for me to get a therapist again so recently just got one and i just finished a session now i'm just eating a vegan ice cream sandwich i'm gonna finish studying so i will talk to you tomorrow good morning it is a tuesday and i am just getting ready for school it is currently 6 30 in the morning um so i just fed my daughter and i'm gonna get myself ready so i'm just gonna like you know do all the morning things i forgot what to wear we have to wear business casual every day to school which kind of sucks because i love wearing sweatpants to class i sit up here and figure out what i'm going to wear and get ready I'm just gonna get started on my hair. I did my hair for my anniversary. Sorry, I have eye patches on to kind of 
help with the puffing. Pretty much, it looks a hot mess. I think it might have like a little bit of curls so less. I'm just gonna really comb it out. I'm not really gonna add any more curls. I'll probably add more curls later this week, but I mean, it's cool. And to be honest, I'm not looking good for anybody, so. Let me just kind of grab the camera. This is kind of how my hair is looking. I would actually prefer, sorry. I would actually prefer to put some curls in it, to be honest, but I mean, it's fine for now. But we'll just kind of finagle it this way. I mean, I'm only going to class for a couple hours and then it's going to go right back up into the bun. So maybe tonight I'll just put some curls in it for tomorrow since I have a longer, somewhat of a longer day. I'm actually not going to my last class tomorrow. Um, but I will fill you in on why. So I'm going to just throw up a shirt. Um, I'm just going, actually, I think I'm pretty much done up here. Alrighty, so it is 8. It's 8.20. Um, my nanny just got here right at, she normally gets here on time, so she got here at 8. I'll just give her, like, the rundown of basically, like, what needs to be done. Because it's, it's not always the same. It's not always the same every day. Um, it depends on, like, what time my daughter ends up waking up. Or I might have to feed her early. So, like, today actually was able to put her down for a nap and i just kind of gave her the rundown as to like what time i needed her to get up there is that i had just fed her so she really just needs to keep her up until i get home whenever she wakes up from her nap so there's that i'm just walking to school and i'll just show you my route and that's about it um i normally either listen to a podcast while i am walking or if i have a test coming up I will study on my way to class, so I don't have a test. I'm just going to be listening to a podcast while I am walking. lecture was like I said about endocrine so that was pretty interesting so I um, proposed to my class to see if we could possibly finish all the lectures this week or have him post last year's lecture so that we don't have to go to class next Tuesday because we have three finals next week and it just makes more sense to get everything done this week so I guess they're gonna vote and then try to decide whether or not they want to have every all the lectures this week but once I get home, I'm gonna feed my daughter, get out of my clothes, and then start studying. All right, hey everyone. So as you can see, I'm back from school. I've already changed. My daughter was actually eating by the time I got here, so I didn't have to feed her. So it's about 12.45, so I may not put her down. So I may not put her down until about 1.30, just so I can get some good study time in while she's taking a nap because i like i said yesterday i don't normally have her sleep past three i really try to put her down at least two hours before three so that she's able to sleep or have like a little bit of a nap now in the event that she doesn't take a nap it's more so just about me kind of keeping her entertained the way that i like to do that while i'm studying if she's still awake is just kind of like putting something educational on television or putting her in this right here this here or like doing some tummy time this kind of rocks and I mean it's pretty self-explanatory it has like this little toy and I'll just you know tilt her to the TV so she's able to watch it I definitely do that just so she can be a little bit more entertained while I'm studying if she's still awake so those are the ways that I kind of keep her entertained I'm hoping when she gets older it'll be a little bit easier to kind of keep her entertained or by that time I can like put her in actual daycare if I feel more comfortable doing that but we'll just see when the time gets there of course I will do an updated mommy routine or study routine when she becomes a toddler just to kind of like give some good tips that has worked for me and keeping her entertained while you need to study the study agenda for today is i have physics and chemistry tomorrow i'm actually not going to my chemistry class reason being is because chemistry is super uh, and i really like my professor he's like such a cool he seems like a cool dad he's super funny he's quite entertaining the only reason why i'm not going to chemistry is because one when i took the exam a few weeks ago i always record all of my lectures and i only re-listened to one of his lectures and that was like one i missed in the beginning i never really like went back through to listen to any of the lectures plus his exams are open book open note so his last exam everything came like straight from the powerpoint 
so I really don't see it necessary to go. But if anything, there's a guy in my class that records the lecture, so I can just listen to it if I like absolutely feel like I need to. The study agenda for today is physics. I'm gonna review or finish studying that. I do have a study session with a friend of mine on house party sometime around 10 or 11, because that's normally, like I said, my study time. That's normally when I'm up. In chemistry, we have like this paper. It's supposed to be like a super easy paper, a one-page paper. Basically, you write about a disease process. You talk about like the why it happens, like whether or not it's like a genetic mutation or maybe there's no, there's like an unknown cause as to what happened to it and kind of like somehow tie it back to chemistry. It seems like a really easy paper, so I think I'm just gonna get started on that. The good thing about it is he said that we can send a rough draft of the paper and he'll read it and let us know we need to fluff up this part or if we hit all the points and he'll just give us the full credit. Hopefully I can put her down, but if not, then we'll just have the roll with the punches. The good thing about it is if she doesn't go down, then maybe she'll be super tired and then we'll go to sleep a little bit early. So here is the lunch that I am making. So I'm just having a veggie patty with some brown rice and sauteed kale. So it's about 1.30 now or 1.45. I am trying to put her to sleep. I'm just have her take a nap. Keep our fingers crossed that she at least sleeps at least two hours, two and a half hours, so that I can at least try to get some studying done. So like I said, the topic I'm choosing is diabetes. I feel like we talked about it today at Endocrine, and it just seemed like really simple and to the point. Hopefully you're enjoying this vlog. I want to just make this like very informative and kind of chilled and laid back. Kind of get a feel for my personality and then kind of get a feel for how I really maneuver throughout my day. I'm super excited. To be done with this semester because I just have so many content ideas there's so many like good things are gonna be great for you all so I cannot wait to share them with you once I get everything squared away I'm gonna be working my ass off just to have everything together everything ready and for you I think it'll be something that you'll be really interested in we'll be planning a giveaway and let's get to 500 subscribers let me get to studying Three thirty. My daughter never slept, so yay me. But it's okay because I'm pretty much almost halfway through with the papers. So I've already done my references or my citations and bibliographies. I have one more paragraph to write. I'm gonna proofread it and I'll proofread it twice and I'll probably just send it over for a rough draft and hopefully I hit all the points and he can just give me the twenty points that it's worth. So I finally finished my paper. It's 6.30, so I'm about to edit this video. Hopefully I can just finish editing. I already sent it off to my professor, so hopefully I get something back. Let me edit this video for y'all. So I am currently eating. I was able to put her down around seven, seeing that she was super tired. I just made some pizza, it's cauliflower pizza with some vegan pepperoni, and I'm still editing this video. Honestly, don't know if I'll be able to get done. I'm really, really trying, so we'll see. Guess who's done editing? Literally, this is a 30 minute video. 30 minutes. This is gonna be a good one. Alrighty, so I actually am done editing. All I have to do is just kind of run through it one more time and then I just need to make the thumbnail and that is completely it. So now I'm just gonna watch a YouTube video and drink my tea. I normally either drink like hot coffee or tea. I'm drinking the Tazo Tea Earl Grey. I do too because I like it strong with some dairy-free creamer. And then I got this mug, Grumpy But Gorgeous, from Target. So I'm just gonna drink that. I'm probably just gonna watch this video and then study again so i'm just gonna go over some study material before 
I have my house party call tonight, so yeah. break so she'll call me back when she's done it is literally a minute before midnight so i'm just kind of like reviewing a lot of information the good thing about like kind of bouncing ideas back and forth with somebody else just so you can kind of see someone else's like understanding and viewpoint versus your own so it's really nice to be able to kind of like talk it out with somebody else but i am super tired um i'll probably be up probably till maybe one ish i'm just kind of like I said reviewing some information I do like to look at information I'll talk about that in like my study video as to like how I study and supplemental information that helps me study so I will definitely talk to you in the morning and have a good night